Hello, I'm Bernie Hayes. Today's guest is Robert Powell, and we'll be talking about the arts today on The Bernie Hayes Show. Welcome back. I am Bernie Hayes, and my guest is Robert Powell, owner and founder of Portfolio Incorporated. Hello, Robert. Hey, Bernie. Good to see you. Good to see you as always. It's been two years since you've been here? It's been two years. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, time flies. Yeah. 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 The last time you were here, you were reporting an exhibit called All Colors. All Colors. And that's coming back. It's time for it again. It's a biannual exhibit that we do at the St. Louis Artists Guild there in Clayton, Missouri. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's an attempt to highlight African-American visual artists, mm -hmm. although the exhibit is an invitational and there are artists in this exhibit that are not African-American. Okay. So where is the location of the exhibit? The be? exhibit is at the uh, St. Louis Artist Guild. And where is that located? And that's at 12 North Jackson mm -hmm. Avenue in Clayton, Missouri. Okay. It's in the old famous bar uh, store, for those who are familiar with that, right there mm -hmm. off of Farsight and Jackson. Right, okay. Yeah. So that's a good thing to do. Yeah. So. Uh, you said that different artists who are displaying. Right. Mm -hmm. well, How did you acquire them? Well, these are artists that I've uh, worked with over our 35 years of existence. Mm -hmm. uh, Portfolio has been around as a not-for-profit 501c3 arts organization. And over the years, uh, given a number of uh, exhibits, workshops, seminars, I've met a number of artists, and this is an invitational of some of the ones that I am very impressed with. Bob, are uh, artists making money now? I mean, are, is it s still a struggle to, to exist as an artist? Well, as, before, as some, ar artist? some artists, like mm -hmm. in, in everything, Bernie, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. are, are making money and mm -hmm. uh, are living off of it, and uh, it's always to what degree are they making money? Mm -hmm. You know, is it enough for them to sustain where they're just an artist and that's all they do? I do know some artists like that, that all they do is art and they have been very uh, fortunate to be able to sell their artwork, uh, mm -hmm. which is the key. Yeah, I imagine it yeah. is, yeah. Well, let's, let's look at some of the, the things that will be displayed in colors. Uh, well, to tell us what this is and what's about. Well, this is the artwork of Adam Long. He's a St. Charles, uh, Missouri artist. Uh, Adam uh, takes, finds uh, twigs, trees, and then uh, creates images within that. And uh, I would have always been impressed with what he does with simple twigs that are that so laying on, on, on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. Wow. And he Adam is Malone. one of those artists that I, he teaches art also, mm -hmm. but for the most part, his life is based around art. He's with a gallery in, in uh, Colorado wow. that he uh, participates with. So Great. he's an mm -hmm. up and coming artist. Let's see this the next piece. This is what it's called. Oh, that's another yeah, piece. Another one of Adam's yeah. pieces, uh -huh. yeah. Well, that's just so unique. Is it all twigs, or does, does he complement that, or something yeah, like that? Yeah, he's added, as you can see, mm -hmm. the, the tops of acorns. Wow. You know, yeah. the, if, if you look at it closely, those are acorn shells, the top part. Uh, very creative. Uh, person that uh, I personally, my wife and I own a couple of his mm -hmm. pieces and uh, in our collection. So these things are for sale. Oh, yeah, at all costs. yeah. That, that that's the 
main purpose of our exhibit okay. to sell mm -hmm. so that we can generate income for our organization. As sure. I said, it's a not-for-profit uh, 501c3 organization, and we are uh, exhibiting and selling uh, art. Let's, before we go any further, let's find out how we can reach you and, and, and get more information on All Colors. Well, you can reach us in a number of ways, mm -hmm. certainly by phone, 314-265-0432. Our email is portfoliogallery at att.net. And uh, our website is portfoliogallerystl.org. Great. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's look at the next piece, Robert, and tell us uh, what this is all about. Uh, any of your pieces in, in this exhibit? No, no. Okay. In fact, I don't believe I'm going to be in this show. I've been mm -hmm. in a kind of a uh, rut, really? a creative rut that uh, I'm trying to work myself out of. But but that, that's uh, you're trying to, to build up portfolio uh, incorporated, I assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. certainly. But, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about as a personal artist, mm -hmm. you know, I get to carve maybe one piece, two pieces a year, and uh, I do say that's because I'm doing something else yeah. as opposed to being creative, uh, which I would really like to get more into again. Okay, uh, that other piece we just showed it. This is a, tell us about this one. Yeah, this the is. colors are vibrant. Yeah, that's Veronica Sublet. She is out of Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, my hometown and uh, an artist that has been with us over the years. Uh, emancipation, she calls this mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Uh, when they go to the to, to the to the exhibit, will people be there to explain uh, to well, interpret what are these these particular pieces are? Yeah, uh -huh. many of the artists will be there. Okay. Uh, Every artist won't be there because sure. some of them are in, from San Diego, California. Wow. Uh, I don't expect Manuelita Brown to be there. Or we'll collect them all over the world, all right. over the country. Right. Okay. Sandra Smith, who's out of Silver Springs, Maryland. She's a quilter. We don't have images of her artwork, but I wouldn't expect them. But. The, the artists from St. Louis, Kansas City, uh, Edwardsville, St. Charles, St. Oh, Charles, okay. Belleville. Okay. They they will be there. And one of the things that I always uh, uh, like the public to know is that at art shows, you can walk right up to the artists and talk with them. That's wonderful. You yeah. don't need a backstage pass, yeah. you know, <laughs> to to talk with them, and you can ask them the questions that are on your mind about it, you mm -hmm. know. And those who visit, the other artists who visit the, these exhibits, mm -hmm. uh, I assume, how do they get the information out? Is this like what you're doing now? Just tell them about it. Right. Just talk about it. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to promote it uh, mm -hmm. as a biannual event, so there are artists that are waiting for this exhibit. Great. Uh, I smile sometimes because I get calls and People say, Robert, I want to be in the show. That's good. You know. That's a good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's actually an invitational. You mm -hmm. know, it's like you give a party in New York. You know, you invite the artists and the people that you have some connection with, who you've seen their artwork, you know, the professionalism. Mm -hmm. So you you want those artists to be sure. in it. Yeah. Uh, well, we've seen three of the pieces. We're going to save the other four for our next segment. Mm -hmm. But uh, you say you've been kind of lazy, so you're not sculpting anymore. I'm not sculpting at the pace that oh, okay. I would really like mm -hmm. like to. I have uh, pieces of wood in my garage that I hope to carve, and I guess I'll get to them in the spring, but... Uh, at, at your own time. Uh, yeah, That's a good thing. Uh, yeah, well... Okay. Robert yeah. Powell is my guest, and uh, he's the owner and founder of Portfolio, Portfolio Incorporated, mm -hmm. and uh, he once had a gallery down there on Grand, mm -hmm. but uh, he's, he's presumably promoting a exhibit called All Colors.
And we'll be talking more about that after this. We'll be right back. What a mighty God we serve. We've seen him at work during this past year, and he wants to do even more for us in 24. So let's continue to believe God at this particular moment. Let's not let fear consume us, but through prayer, begin to make that journey closer and closer into his presence, step by step, moment by moment. Praise God for the testimonies that came out of 2023 because of the tests. Those that remain steadfast to the end, the same shall be saved. So don't move into the new year with fear. Instead, move into it with faith, letting the power and presence of God begin to consume you to the extent you can come into the very presence of Jesus. He told her, ask it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. That's his promise to us. And as you've done that in 2023, I know you've seen miracles, but don't let fear consume you. Continue to move in 2024 and know that God will be with you. For he's promised, I will never leave you nor forsake you. What a great year lies before us. Behind me is the New Life Evangelistic Center Administrative Offices in Overland, Missouri. And this is where we shoot our shows for um, our worship shows and the Here's Help Network. And it's also where Zakid Baroudi and Bernie Hayes shoot their shows. You can find all of these shows at the New Life Evangelistic Center app, the NLEC TV app. You can also access them on your tablet or on your computer. And this is how you can stay up to date with all the things that New Life Evangelistic Center is doing. There are so many different programs that we've got going on, and God is doing many exciting things through partners like you. So if you want to support the work that New Life is doing, then please uh, access and give through the app. You can go online at nlecstl.org or give us a call at 314-421-3020. Again, 314-421-3020. But this is the best way to get plugged into the amazing work that New Life is doing through people like you. And so there is something for you to get involved in today. And we are so thankful for our partners. Only through uh, the grace of God and your gift are we able to bless others today. Welcome back. I'm Bernie Hayes. Robert Powell is my guest from Portfolio Incorporated. Uh, and we're talking about an exhibit that's coming on what date and where? It, the exhibit opens on the 12th of January. Mm -hmm. However, we're going to do our opening uh, reception uh, where the artists, wine and cheese, will be mm -hmm. uh, served and people will have a chance to interact with the artists who are uh, attending the show mm -hmm. and that's going to be uh, January 13th it okay. runs until February 17th location is the location is at the st. Louis Artists Guild 12 North Jackson Avenue Clayton Missouri at Forsyth yeah yeah Jackson at Forsyth. Forsyth that's wonderful mm -hmm. uh, Bob, lots uh, of parking mm -hmm. you know, around. Bob Dimmler asked uh, before uh, we, we, we during the break that uh, if uh, someone is there who saw a piece and the artist was not there, you'd explain that particular piece to them. Yeah, mm -hmm. I explain it. You know, explain is it's kind of well described. Broad okay. In that you know, I, I purchased a piece the other day. Explain it was a it's a drawing of James Baldwin. Mm. So. To me, I just liked the piece. He didn't have to explain anything okay. to me. I don't even know the artist. I know who James Baldwin is, okay. and that's why I purchased the piece. Okay, so they're different type mm -hmm. artists, though. All yeah, to, to yeah. we'll things. have sculpture, yeah. uh, drawings, paintings. Yeah, it would be the full uh, spectrum okay. of art. Let's see the next piece here. And you explain to us what this is and who it's by. This is a uh, mixed media piece by Gonda Locke Clay. Mm -hmm. She's a St. Louis artist who has, again, been one of the cornerstones of portfolio exhibits. Uh, she's just very creative in, in using materials and uh, various 
items to create art. And okay, so that's not a painting. That, that's no, a actual no. Mm -hmm. That's a mixed, what is called mixed media. So uh -huh. she's actually made the, the hands, draped the, 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 the head is made, and then she's added material around it, created yep. the drum that is there. Uh, so that's actually a 3D piece. Yeah, so this was 3D, we, we see the perception yeah. of that. That's wonderful, that's great, Robert. And yeah. uh, the next piece uh, you can tell us about, this is coming up here. Yes, this is uh, a bust of Dr. King, mm -hmm. uh, Manuelita Brown out of San Diego, California. Uh, she is very prolific, meaning you can Google her. Mm -hmm. She's she's one of those. Manuelita Brown. Manuelita Brown. Manuelita Brown. She's one of those artists that uh, works full time as an as an artist. Is that bronze? That's bronze. Wow. Yeah. 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 That's some kind of piece there. Yeah. And wow. uh, she does life-size figures, mm -hmm. also uh, big as me, large as me. She's done uh, Harriet Tubman for, wow. you know, different uh, cities. So she's, she's very outstanding. I saw in your house one time, man, a, a sculpture that you had done, it was out of a tree trunk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Was that glazed? Did you do that, that after you, you carved it and everything? No, not that glazed was wouldn't be the, the mm -hmm. term. You okay. know, glazed normally is with clay. Mm -hmm. So mine was, you know, polyurethane okay. or... But it had a wonderful shine to it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a large piece, man. Yeah. I was wondering how you got into your house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've had two hernia surgeries yeah. lifting. That's the reason. Yeah, yeah, okay. lifting wood and carrying it around in my car. My goodness. And yeah, so it's, it's been a journey, but it's been good. I can imagine. Yeah. Let's see the next piece here. Yeah. And uh, Robert Paul is my guest, and who is this? This is a new artist. Uh, Mr. Smith, uh, that uh, I'm working with for the first time, and he has a number of uh, African motif uh, pieces that I am really looking forward to seeing. Mm -hmm. You know, as I said, this is invitational, so I haven't seen all of the artwork, sure. but it would be like asking Stevie Wonder to do a a record for you, a UV haze, mm -hmm. you know the quality. Sure. Yeah, so okay. I just have invited these artists that I know the quality, they're gonna do great create, creative pieces. I haven't asked them to show me what is in it. I, you you trust know, them. I trust That's them wonderful. That's great. that, you know, it's representing them and mm -hmm. over the years, that seem to, seems to have worked out very well for us. This is great. Yeah. Let's see the next piece. Yeah. Okay, now I recognize that gentleman is yeah. Charles Parker. Bird. Yeah, yeah, the Bird. 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 They call yes. him Bird. Yes. So that's from your hometown, Kansas City. From Kansas City. Yeah. yeah. Helped put us on the map, you know. Yeah. Uh, is that a drawing? Is, that's a drawing. It's colored pencil. It's by a St. Louis artist, Ricky. Frager, uh, and he again is one of those who is uh, making a living from his art. You know, he is, he's very good. I just love mm -hmm. Rick's work that uh, uh, he creates, you know, wow. colored pencil using most of his artwork is black and white like that, and it's, it's different right? shadows and lights. Yeah. It looks like a photograph almost, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, so Paul, Paul, what would you say to uh, per, um, artist, pe person who wants to become artist uh, in school now or think they have talent to draw, how, how would they become uh, someone who you might want to exhibit? Well, you know, one of the things that I've learned about art is that it's hard to pigeonhole it. You know, mm -hmm. people laugh and joke and say, I can't draw a stick figure. Mm -hmm. Then don't. 
<laughs> you know, <laughs> stick figures are out there, mm -hmm. images are out there. It's really the story that they're doing. And it's, it's a rough road to uh, create something. My brother and I, Lonnie, uh, talk often that artists create artwork, pieces of art, and say, give me $5,000. And you say, well, who asked you to do this? Say, nobody asked me to do this. I just need to do it. That whole concept, that's, that's a heck of a thing. Okay. To, you know, to be able to say, well, nobody asks you, it's not a commission. You know, commissions, they pay you first, sure. and, or some portion of it. But to be an artist is a, it's a. Is it a feeling or it, yeah, an, no, an emotion? It, yeah, and okay. it's a, the desire to create something, to tell a story, and yet you're telling your story as opposed to, you know, somebody else's. This is your passion that you're Your passion okay. that you're ex explaining. Okay. Yeah. Robert Powell is our guest, and uh, he's the founder of Portfolio Incorporated, and he's talking about an art exhibit that's coming very, very soon in January. And we'll be talking back to Mr. Powell after this. As we look forward into the future, New Life Evangelistic Center is going to continue to meet the needs of people where they are at. Our work is to be on the front lines, exposing the brokenness, the heartache, the despair that so many people feel. And as we expose them, we also point to our risen Christ, Jesus Christ, who is able to meet that person, save them from their sin, and glorify himself in the change that takes place. We need your help to do this work. We need your help taking the gospel of Jesus Christ to where it's needed most in our communities. So I invite you to partner alongside New Life this next year by giving your monthly contribution at nlecstl.org. Again, nlecstl.org. Get involved today in this incredible work. Our Black History subject for today is legendary dancer, choreographer, and anthropologist Catherine Dunham, who was born June 22, 1909. In 1940, she formed the Catherine Dunham Dance Company, which became the premier facility for training dancers. Alumni include Bertha Kitt, Marlon Brando, and Julie Belafonte. She directed the Catherine Dunham School of Dance in New York and was artist in resident at Southern Illinois University. She was called the matriarch of black dance. Dunham accepted a position at Southern Illinois University in East St. Louis in the 1960s, and during her tenure, she secured funding for the Performing Arts Training Center. She was a recipient of Kennedy Center's Awards Honor and many other honors and a star on the St. Louis Walk of Fame. Dunham passed away on Sunday, May 21st, 2006, at the age of 96. Catherine Dunham. A lot of people are experiencing some difficult times walking through the journey of life, feeling that they're just totally overwhelmed. Maybe you're one of those individuals. I want to encourage you to get in God's Word, know that He loves you, He'll never forsake you, He's got a purpose for your life. If you haven't reached out and helped somebody lately, there's so many people that need help at this time. And those opportunities are available to you at New Life Evangelistic Center. We have search and rescue teams that are going out, finding people everywhere and taking them to the direct help they need, helping them break the cycle of homelessness, going out to a wide variety of residential living programs we have. So many people hurting at this particular moment and many that are in need. And you're going to feel good about helping somebody else that's in need. So if you want further information, call us at 314-421-3020. You can give online at nlecstl.org. Uh, you can volunteer. And most of all, you can really pray. We need prayer warriors at this time facing some critical needs at this moment, and your prayers will definitely make a big difference for good. So please continue to keep us in your prayers here at the New Life Evangelistic Center. Welcome back. I'm Bernie Hayes. Robert Powell is my guest. Robert, once again, tell us about the exhibit coming and when and where. Well, we're presenting... And the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> we're presenting all colors. It's a biannual exhibit that we uh, put on at the St. Louis Artist Guild there at 12 North Jackson Avenue in Clayton, Missouri. At Forsyth. Uh, yeah, in Forsyth. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Jackson is the side street, yeah. the far side. But, uh, Near Hanley. Very yeah, close off, to Hanley off of Hanley, yeah. a couple mm -hmm. of blocks off of Hanley right. Road there, uh, Centene mm -hmm. area. Yeah. And uh, the show will feature 50-plus artists wow. and uh, approximately 100 pieces of artwork. Gee, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's so a lot. we're excited about it, and mm -hmm. it's an exhibit and sale that we hope uh, people will come out and buy original art. Uh, as you and I spoke earlier, to, to buy a piece of art and know that you're the only one on earth that has that piece of art, you know, is quite, that's why art can cost what it does, sure. you know. Because it's an original and it's the first, it's yeah, the only. Yeah, it's the only one. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, how, can, how can we reach you? They can reach us uh, a number of ways. Uh, phone number is 314-265-0432. Our website is portfoliogallerystl.org. And our email is portfoliogallery at att.net. And all the information on the All Colors exhibit is on our website. Okay, once yeah. again, the website is? Portfolio Gallery, STL. STL dot org. org. How did you become an artist, and why? Hmm, I became an artist, I think I started calling myself an artist in 1973, and uh, I think it was the result of teaching uh, industrial arts. Mm -hmm. You know, you mentioned that I work in wood, so yeah. I was in the wood shop, and instead of making the traditional bookends and uh, tables, shelf tables uh, yeah. <laughs> we started carving mm -hmm. more like our forefathers, the African sculptors. Yeah, yeah and. It just grew from that, and all of a sudden I was an artist, and uh, it's been fun. 35 years uh, that I've been doing artwork. That's beautiful. Uh, yeah. That's beautiful. What would you say to those as aspiring artists right now? Shall they follow their, their dreams? Yeah, you, mm -hmm. you should always follow your dreams. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, dare to dare. You know, uh, when we were younger, youngsters, you know, people would dare you to do something, you'd do it just like that. Yeah. Well, the same thing is in this art world. Do you dare put it out in front of someone and have them criticize it or praise it? What's going to motivate you to keep going, you know? And uh, because someone doesn't like it, or they like it, you know, that's a personal thing, sure. yeah. you know. Uh, so I would encourage everyone to always follow their dreams. Uh, don't listen to the naysayers, listen to the ones who are encouraging you to go forward with your dreams. This is great. Once again, we have about a minute left. Robert, tell us when and where all colors will be and how we can reach you, get more information. Opening well, how did you name it? All colors. Well, all colors was really uh, based well, on left, yeah. based on artists who paint. Okay. And they use all, all colors: colors. Okay. red, blue, green, all of those things. And when is it going to be? It, the opening reception will be January thirteenth, from seven to nine p.m. at the St. Louis Artist Guild, and. That's great. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, Robert Paul, my guest uh, from Portfolio Incorporated. I'm Bernie Hayes, and we're here at the New Life Evangelistic Center and supporting Larry Rice for more than 51 years are those in who need and in supporting those in need. And I'm Bernie Hayes, and we'll be back next time. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.